Hey guys, this is Mr. Barry. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm here to show you some basic Google presentation instructions. So in order to make a Google Slides or a Google presentation, you're going to go to your drive and then you're going to click New and then you're going to choose Google Slides. Now, when you make that presentation, make sure to give it a title. And to give it a title, all you have to do is click on where it says Untitled and title it. So I'm just going to say Test Presentation. And remember that your first presentations are on a fall memory or a fall event or your favorite part of fall. So that's how to give it a title. You can also choose to give your project a theme if you would like and you can choose from these themes on the right hand side here and this is going to change the background of every slide in your presentation so you can choose a theme or you can just go with the default I'll go ahead and add a theme and now I've added a theme in order to create a new slide, because you're going to need multiple slides for your presentation, you can do it multiple ways. You can go to Insert and then New Slide, or you can hit this plus button up here, and that makes a new slide for you. Now, a lot of slides come with default boxes where you can add text or images. If you want to change the format of a slide, all you have to do is click on those boxes, highlight them, and then click the delete button and you can get rid of them. In order to add text boxes, if you've done that, if you've deleted the background and you want to make some of your own size, you click this text box, you choose your box, and you type your text. Now this is hard to see on my background, so I would want to change the font and the size of my text. And to do that, you're going to use all these different tools that you see right here. If you don't see them, you may see them under the More button as well. Okay, so for example, I'm going to change the um, color of my text, so I would highlight it, and I would choose Text, and then I would choose a different color, and I can change it to, say, White. Okay, I can bold, I can change the font, and I can change the size. And when you're making your presentation, remember to um, not use too much text and also really look at the size of your text and make sure that the audience can read it. If you want to do bullet points, again, make sure that bullet points aren't too much text, but you can do bullet points by clicking on the More button and then choosing Bullet Points. So one thing that's really important with your presentation is that you have a works cited page for the images that you use. So we're going to make a works cited page. I'm going to click new slide. I'm going to title it works cited. And this is where I'll put all the images that I use and cite. So we're going to take a little detour from Google presentation now and I'm going to show you how to find images. So I'm going to go to Google Images, and I'm going to search for, let's say, Halloween. Um, and I'm going to look for a pumpkin. Okay, so on this page, you cannot use all of these images in your presentation. Some of these are copyrighted, and you should abide by that copyright. So to choose from images that are available to you, you're going to click Search Tools, click Usage Rights, and then you're going to choose Labeled for Reuse. And you see that the amount of uh, images will decrease. So make sure you always do that. Search Tools, and then you choose Labeled for Reuse. So let's say I want to use this pumpkin right here, this picture. The way I would do that is click it, click View Image, and this takes me to a page that only has the image on it. Now I can copy this URL and I can put that on my work cited. 
okay, to show where I got that image from. And now I can feel free to use that in my presentation. So I'll put it on this second slide here. And there are multiple ways to do this. Here's the first. I can go to Insert, Image, and I can insert an image by URL. I'll paste that same URL here. I'll hit Select, and it finds the image for me. And you can resize an image by clicking on the border and dragging the arrows in the correct direction that you want to change your image. Now another way to bring in the image would be to save this image to your computer. So I'm going to control click the image, save image as, and it's going to save to my computer. I'll put it on my desktop. Now I can go to in, in Google Presentation, I can go to Insert, Image, Upload, Choose Image, and then I would select wherever I downloaded the particular image that I want, wherever I downloaded it to. And then once it uploads, I'll hit Select, and now I can resize my image. Okay, now the final part of your presentation is you need to learn how to start learning how to share documents. Okay, so you're going to click the share button. You're going to click get shareable link. And you want to make sure anyone at St. Catharines can view this link so that when you turn your presentation in, we'll be all be able to view it. Okay. Once you've turned that feature on and make sure it says anyone at St. Catharines can view, click done. And now you just need to finish your presentation and be ready to give it on the day before Halloween.